Mm-hmm. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, chasing his Mary, man, I say. Ooh. What? Hello. All right. Oh, welcome, welcome, yeah. welcome in. Come on in, come on in. What do you think of this? Very good, very, very nice. It's nice, isn't it? Looks a business. Available from Rat4 UK. It is the Eero or Ebo. Sometimes it affectionately no. It's nice, isn't it? Very good. Yeah, it's a great bit of kit. Infinity Edge compound bow, and of course the Aero paintballing kit on it comes in a variety of options. What you're seeing here is the 0.68 version mm -hmm. of the gubbins here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We also can do the 0.50 cal version. Ooh, also, cal. interestingly, interestingly, if you own a compound bow, okay, you can buy just this kit on its own to fit to your bow, or if you want to do something a little bit different, you can buy a 0.22 cal pellet kit for it. Ooh. So if you've got a compound bow and you want to pellet, fire pellets, like if you go out hunting or just target shooting that sort of thing, you could do that. Or if you have the bow as it is there, you can buy the pellet upgrade kit which will convert it to be able to fire pellets. Ah, so if you've already got a paintball setter, yeah. you can buy just yeah. the .22 fitment to go yeah. on yeah. the old girl. So basically if you bought the 6.8 version it would come with these bits, minus of course this shroud here which is an optional extra. Ooh. And you also get a, uh, a mountain rail as well for your scopes, etc., to go on. Okay, so just put this bad boy down here a minute. Okay, so here we go, straight out the box. This is the 0.50 car version. You can see it's different colours, all well. comes in a variety of colours black and camo. Yeah, okay, so this is the bad boy in its naked state, compound infinity edge bow. Okay, what I will say is, don't draw the strings while it's got nothing on it because it doesn't do the strings or anything any good at all because it goes supersonic and shatter bits and break stuff and all sort of thing. So no dry firing? No dry firing in effect. Okay. Big, big piece of paper on it, that's, people know that. So. Stop, it says. Okay, so like I say, this is like a, a woodland camo pattern, like a mossy oak and of course black. Okay, so what also comes with it is the business part of the, uh, the boat, shall we say? That's okay. the part that enables you to yeah. fire. So this is the air tube where the plunger goes in, which generates the air which flies around the system and pushes the ball out. Okay, and that's it from that side. I see. Okay. Yeah. Like say this is the 0 0.50 version. And then you get, of course, your feed stick to put your rounds in, which yeah. goes onto here. And then you get a box, a bag with some instructions and, and some nifty ammo keys, etc. Okay, so I'm just going to show you very quickly how it kind of goes together. It's pretty easy really. If I can do it, anybody else can? Yeah. <laughs> very true. Anyway, yeah. yeah, so basically, just remove these two screws. I would like to say also, it comes in two options, left or right-handed, I'll explain that after. All right. Oh, tell you what, need some safety equipment. Be right back. Ooh. Right, there we go. All Hello, safety there. kit on, look. Good. Oh, Lovely. safety first. Okay, so all I've done is basically remove these two screws from here. Basically in there, okay. Yeah. So if you can see on the on the actual workings of it, you can see you've got like this little rail thing here, like with the recess. Oh. Yes. Okay. So all you need to do is basically that sits. Could take that orange paper off. Well, it? Yeah, I'll take it off first, now because it's only going to get in the way. It's a good idea. Excuse me a moment while I. We almost blend in with the jacket. It's invisible. Got a special tactical vest. There's some information on there. Oh. Yeah, instructions, everything we instructions need Instructions on the reverse side. Constructions. Constructions for instructions. Okie dokie, where was we? Oh yeah, this is what we was doing. Okay, so basically it's, it's a dead easy thing to fit. So I'll just put oh. it down here so, so you can see like that. Basically that sits on there like so. Yeah, yeah. you don't want, excuse me, you don't want the whole frame thing to touch the bow so you want to just offset it off a little bit. Yeah. So you've got a little bit of a gap there, okay? Oh, could be. So. We'll just, uh, we'll cut. You're only putting two screws in. Just cut, wait for you to fit them on, we'll come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the old uh, okay, fitted again. Okay, so, so it fitted that bad boy on, okay? Okay, so what we need to do now, if you look here, this is the plunger. You need to undo this, and it sits over this little collar here in between these two strings. I believe, I'm not an archer myself, but it should be because I'm Welsh, but I believe you can get like gloves or like a hooky thing or something to assist. Yeah, so that's probably what that's. Yeah, right. that's probably what it's for, I guess. So basically, just bear with me while I uh, do some fiddly undoing. With some uh, anarchies. This is where I end up losing everything. So you can undo those two yeah. and fit it onto the string, basically. Yeah. We'll uh, 
come back. We'll cut magic cut. Right. Yep. Okay, that's all fitted up. Yeah, it's all fitted up now. So it's as simple as that seat sits there. There's a little plastic collar that sits over it just to help protect the thing. Nice. Um, so yeah, a little bit more about the bow. It's a compound bow, like I said, a variety of colours. You can get left or right hand. Now, this is a left hand bow. And when they say left hand, they don't mean the hand that you hold it with, they mean the hand that you draw with. Okay, so being a left, I'm right handed, so being a left hand bow, you would hold it in your right like so, and then you would draw with your left. Demonstrate, Phil. Uh, like okay, so. look at that. That is now safe if you really want to to drive fire in it because it's got air pressure slowing down the it has. string. So. Fire. Shall I fire? Yeah, you can. Whew, look at it go. Will you tell? Right, anyway. so that's just proven that so you can draw that way around. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's Excellent. a left hand one, but I, you know. You can draw left hand. Yeah. Um, the, draw, the draw poundage on this is between 50 and 75 pounds. It's adjustable. Um, it's all How do you adjust it? Okay, you can adjust it here and on there. But you must ensure that it's equal adjustment both sides. So you adjust the limbs basically. Yeah. Okay. But you need so to adjust that attention. one and that one exactly the same amount. Yes. Alright. Um, this is positional along here as well, so you can have it this with the hop of this side or you can slacken it off and it comes okay, around. Okay, so the I think is actually you can see the yeah, amount of adjustment there. Alright, yeah. it's quite a bit okay. of adjustment. Yep. Okay, so basically how it works. You drop your rounds into there. Okay, so there's nothing in your chamber, and then this is like your load mechanism if you mm -hmm. want. You would just pull that back, and it will go forward. That allows for a rain to drop in, and it's now live. Okay, ready to go. And it slams air along here. This tube. All the way to there, tube. on that tube, mm -hmm. comes back and around. And then pushes. So, Oof. length of barrel is important in that setup, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Uh, this barrel has is, is come with it. Um, on the point six eight. it's a spoiler threaded barrel. If you wanted to change the barrel, you probably could, um, but it would need to be of very similar length. You couldn't have a little stumpy barrel on there for a start. You can't go all CQB, can you? No, we couldn't anyway, I don't think, because there's pressure cylinder here, but... Um, well, yeah. you could, but you won't get the... You yeah. get. you'd look pretty daft mm. too, I think. Mm. But, um, yeah, so it needs to be similar sort of length, but spider threaded. For the .50, I'd probably say it's spider threaded as well, but I can't confirm that until... Yes, yeah, so it is sure. spider threaded, because it goes oh, it into is. a bigger adapter. Yeah, there you go, then. Okay, so that's basically it. Great bit of kit. But like I said, you could buy just these kits just for any compound bow as well, not so wooden now ones. You're going to do a live demo. Just now, Phil is, is just going to go and set up. He's just going to get himself ready. This is the target that he's going to be hitting. Not the lie down. Not the wall. Not his face, not his face, not his face. But you remember the apple thing? We got a ball. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. Easy, massive target to hit. So, uh, well, yes. right. Challenge on. Let's uh, set up and get ready. Oosh. Right, here we go again. Goodbye, bottle. Yeah. Check <laughs> it out. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's in my blood. Right. I think that pretty much sums up the. Uh, what we got to do? Oh, you can use our target balls as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah, our that target balls. off there and we'll demonstrate. Okay. Yeah, it's like golfing. Right, he hasn't hit it, but we'll just do it again. Another miss, but we'll just try one more. This is more like it, to be fair. Yeah. So if if you could hit the target, then stuck. those Valkyrie things would have stuck onto there, like you saw they were. I found one on the floor. All right. Then. Let's try again. Are you good? Just one more. Then he's quite keen to get a point across that he can actually hit stuff. Ah, he's moved closer. I see. So a foot closer. Wow. I'm going to come over right now. Okay. So he's missed again, but yeah. Right. Thanks, Phil. Mm, bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bottle. He hasn't loaded it, which is a schoolboy error. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't loaded do you know it again, what do? which is a schoolboy error. You've got to prove this wasn't a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you know what it is? It's because it, the humidity's changed. Oh, is it? Yeah. The humidity in the room's changed and it's causing... Um... This time, Phil. You know what they say, tenth time lucky. Yeah. 
Probably about 50 now. Oh. oh. No, we'll try to try again. Some considerable time later. <laughs> now, it's this time, this is the time. Yes! Hey? We just edit that to say that was the first time. Yeah! Layers. Bye!